Hopefully by now, you are beginning to see that phonemic symbols are incredibly helpful when learning pronunciation. Let's look at how the symbols have helped us so far. On the left column, you will see some of the words we learned to pronounce in this unit. The middle column will show what we may have expected about their pronunciation had we seen them for the first time. And the last column will show the correct pronunciation. Without phonemic symbols, we may expect this word to sound like tongu, tongu. But the symbols tell us it's actually tongue, tongue. If we had not looked up the symbols, we may expect these words to sound like known or noon. But symbols tell us it's actually none, none. We didn't have this word in this unit, but from the letters O and E, we may think the vowel must be O. But it turns out it actually sounds like gone, gone. Likewise, we may think this word's vowel is O, but it is in fact on, on. How about this word? Our first response may be, what the heck? But turns out the symbols are quite simple. O. O. Oh. This word also has a weird spelling, U-Y. We turn to the symbols. It's actually easy. Guy. Guy. The following two words have the same letters. O-W-N. So we may think they must have the same vowels. Look up the symbols, and we find out they actually have different vowels. Known and downtown. On the other hand, the next pair of words have different letters. U Y and Y, but in fact the same vowel sound. By, by. Lastly, these words end with B and H. So should they be pronounced? No. The symbols tell us the B and H are not pronounced. They are silent. So phonemic symbols are extremely helpful because they tell us the correct pronunciation. You can memorize patterns of letters that usually make certain sounds, but there are a lot of exceptions. My recommendation is get in the habit of looking up phonemic symbols whenever you come across a word you're not sure about. Although it may be a hassle, the more you look up, the better your pronunciation will be in the long run. I can't emphasize this enough.